afternoon and welcome to the Brookfield Selectman's meeting on Thursday, June 7th, 2018. Would you like to rise and join the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to a uh, uh, motion to uh, approve the payroll warrant and an, an expense warrant for 6618 for $163,165.77. And the next one is 6518 for $6,179.99. You have that motion? You need a second. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Then we'd like to approve the selectmen's meeting minutes from 4 13 18. You have that motion? I will second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And now we have uh, minutes from uh, EMT and Fire Department. And we have, um, I would like the motion to accept the motion to accept the minutes. I will second those. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So here on our um, Rescue Squad, we have a re uh, anniversary EMT, Mark Lovely, for uh, five, five, twelve, for three years. He's been, um, yeah, five, twelve. Yeah, three years. And then on the um, fire department, we have Assistant Chief Herb Chafee for 41 years, mm -hmm. Philip Chafee for 20, Matthew Phillips, five years. Uh, Ashley Marks, five years. Uh, Jay Haley, five year, one year. Aaron Rice, one year, and John Rose, one year. I would like to congratulate all of them for the service that they do to the town, and it's greatly appreciated. Excellent. Then our next one is uh, like a motion to accept the Cultural Council minutes of five seven eighteen. You have that motion. I will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We, have we have announcements. The Fire Battalion will hold its annual chicken Father's Day chicken barbecue on Sunday, June 17th. Tickets are available from department members or by calling the station at 508-867-7306. For a $15 donation, you get a half of a barbecue chicken, salad, dinner roll, baked potato, and an individual pie. Serving from noon to 1.30, all meals are packed to go, but there will be limited seating at the station. And then we have Tyler Wolin, District Aide, Senator Ann Gobi will be holding office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall from 2 to 3 p.m. Tuesday, June 26th. All are welcome. Okay, do you have any announcements that you would like to make? Nope, that's forge. Okay. All right, we're going to move on with the agenda, and we're going to go over the FY19 budget. So, just clarify, what we have before us is the advisory board's recommendations for um, the budget. And that what I understand is that there may be some missing pieces in the yes. communications, mm -hmm. and that what did not get printed on this page was the department's recommendation. And each year we've had a column that talks about the department's recommendation and then the advisory board's recommendation side by side. Mm -hmm. And what I understand is the town accountant is providing us that document. So I think in our review of the budget, we can do that, but I think we'd have to wait till Tuesday so we see them side by okay. side. So that'll be a Tuesday so we want agenda to, topic. So we just want to skip over this. Uh, up to you. I mean, I think maybe it would be, would be worthwhile to kind of do a cursory review, but any final review, I think we ought to okay. think about it. Okay, but those, also I just want to point out that um, Carrie did say those figures aren't correct either. Yeah, well, so we have some okay. concerns. So, again, as we kind of do a cursory review today. Okay. All right, we'll go the, over them today. All right, all right, I'm all following right. you. All right, we're going to start here with the FY19 expenses. Right. Okay, the moderator is $50. Yeah. Uh, selectman stipend is 6000 the administrative assistant wages is $42,562.00. Sixty-two cents. I think other years we have wanted rounded off figures. That's probably what Carrie's going to do. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and then Selectman Municipal Clerk wages are eleven thousand sixteen dollars. And what we probably ought to cut since since we're talking wages that this is before we have a recommendation for all wage yeah. increases. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, sure. Expe uh, selectman's expenses nine thousand dollars. Selectman physical exams eight hundred. Selectman payment in lieu of taxes eight hundred and fifty dollars. Selectman computer maintenance seventeen thousand. Selectman website six thousand. Selectman town website no the next one computer security is two thousand dollars. Selectman consultant services is ten thousand dollars. Selectman computer acquisition is five thousand. CRMCP is nine fifty. Oh, that dropped from. Yep, this is the typical. Mm -hmm. Now do we have to tell the whole total of it? Do we usually do that? The whole you total. Can, you can. Okay, the whole total for that is one hundred and eleven thousand one hundred and seventy-eight dollars and sixty-two cents. Mm -hmm. Now we move on. We have the reserve fund. This is the budget by that the advisory board has, and that's for twenty-five thousand dollars. Okay. Our next one is town account and wages. Uh, they recommended forty-six thousand eight hundred dollars, but the personnel board, if Cindy agrees with me, we had talked about this at our last personnel board meeting, and we said anybody that had a substantial um, increase in pay, we wanted to wait until we got back the figures from the Collins Center before anybody, you know, got a substantial amount. So she should probably go back down to to uh, the thirty five thousand seven hundred dollars mm -hmm. and probably uh, with the two percent increase, but then we'll have to see what the Collins Center comes back with for all the salaries. Okay, so we'll circle that one. Um, the accounting clerk is three thousand six hundred dollars. Accountant expenses eight thousand eight hundred dollars for a total of fifty nine thousand. Oh no, it wouldn't be that because we cut back. Yeah. So we. Maybe something less. Something less. Okay. Town audit is sixteen thousand. Advisory board clerk salary is five hundred dollars. Advisory committee expenses five hundred. Advisory committee warrant books one thousand two hundred dollars for a total of $2,200. And now we've got the assessor stipends, there's three of them, and that they're for $1,500. Assessor assistant wages is $45,826.56. Assessor's clerk is $10,740.60, and that's an increase from 12 hours to 15 hours. Uh, assessors Consulting Services, $1,000. Oh, they dropped from last year. Ass assessors Expenses, $8,415 for a total of $67,482.16. Now we have uh, the Treasurer's Salary is $33,141.84. Now on this one, no, that is the same, I guess, from yep. last year's salary, and it probably has some money in there for the um, for the interim treasurer that we have right now. Okay. Treasurer clerk wages are, I don't know, should, that's, it should be, oh, treasurer clerk wages and assistant, they don't have, this is wrong. Well, should be the assistant. Assistant, and then they have consultant. There's no consultant no. for the treasurer. So those, I wonder if those two should be added. To, that's another thing we don't know either. Okay, though. so we just leave a box yeah. for that one. Okay, we'll put that. Uh, payroll service is $5,500. Treasurer's expenses, $9,500. And that's, we can't really tell the total on that because we're not quite sure either. Right. But I, I, my guess is that the title's wrong. Yeah, I think it is. What was that second one the title was wrong? 
It well, should be assistant treasurer. Assistant yeah, treasurer. Treasurer consultant, right? That the question now. No, no. It says Karen on thirty-two. It says treasurer clerk wages eighteen okay, thousand, so and then treasurer. it says treasurer assistant six thousand. So that's another one that has to be questioned. All right. Collector salary is. Um, Oh, that was jumped up too, $42,708.42. Brenda, was that right? Did you, ask, did you ask for an increase in salary? No. So let's put a box over there. Well, we'll have to do that too. All right. I thought we were told to level one. Right. Well, they had your, yeah. They had it last year as, Thirty-five thousand one hundred sixty-seven dollars and fifty-six cents. So it's wrong then. But this is. So Carrie's putting a sheet yeah, together. Yeah, Carrie's going to yeah, Carrie's what, gonna what have to give us a sheet for that. And then you have. They also have collector assistant. Nope. They didn't. Nope. They took that out. They took that out. Then collector expenses nine thousand four hundred dollars. That's all right. That was all right. Collector certification, $1,000. Collector software, $6,860. Okay. So. On the expense account, 90% of that is postage, so. Mm. All right, so we'll figure here. We don't know if this is right, but it's $59,968.42. Two, two questions. Mm -hmm. No, I'm circling. I'm okay. Karen. We we both are. No, I think this would just help us when she gets her. Yeah, when she gets the right one. Okay, and legal services is uh, sixty-five thousand. Mm -hmm. And treasurer collected tax titles ten thousand. Town clerk salary, uh, $32,071.86. Then they have assistant town clerk for $4,880. And town clerk expenses, $2,600, for a total of $38,751.86. Okay. And now we have uh, election and registration is uh, five thousand six hundred dollars and that's because there's three elections coming up this year and let's see the next so the total for that is uh no we yeah you got your six thousand six thousand for the expenses right total is eleven thousand six hundred and then conservation commission clerk wages are eight hundred dollars and ninety two ninety two and fifty cents Conservation expenses, 400. Total of $1,292.50. Right, then we have uh, planning board clerk wages, $3,689.34. Planning board salary, and there's five of them, it's $2,500. Planning board expenses, $2,790 for a total of $8,979.34. Board of Appeals wages, $837.42. Uh, Board of Appeals expenses, $510 for a total of $1,347.42. Uh, cable advisory expense is $2,200. Sharon, they have questions here. Is said, do we approve? Is that right? I can only speak to what happened a couple of weeks ago. The former chair of the select board disbanded that committee, which is in fact a standing committee and should not have been disbanded. Okay. Right now there is no activity and everybody on that committee, the committee was dissolved, so everybody on the committee is no longer there. So let me just take this out. I would think so, unless you want to keep it a standing committee and reappoint people. 
there is a charge for that committee that involves activities other than doing contracts. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we should. Sure, I think we should leave it. Yeah, we'll leave it in, and I think we should form a committee again. All right. All right. Now we have municipal custodial wages. He also has the town hall, the police, and the highway. It's $14,029. Property, municipal property maintenance and improvements, $10,000. Town hall improvements, $15,000. Municipal properties and utilities, $3,498.34. Total town hall is $42,527.34. Print town report is $1,800. Municipal heating is $5,500. That's a big, it says town hall gas. Yeah, so that's fuel. So. Yeah, so we'll, don't even actually know if that figure is right. Now we've got municipal diesel fuel is $20,000. Municipal gas is $26,820. General government, uh, and then it says the general government here, the total is $649,709.58. Now we're going to public safety. Uh, police wages full time is $230,047. Police chief salary is $72,189. Police part-time is $64,532. Police clerk wages, $11,419.92. Overtime police wages is $48,000. Police expenses is $58,966. And police station expenses is a black one, getting too many. It's um, $487,153.92. Carrie, do you have different figures than we have? I did not hear what you said, I'm sorry. Do you have different figures than we have? Because we're going over what the advisory board did. Yes, some of them are different figures. So There's my spreadsheet. The first column is the... Um, <coughs> This is the budget request. Okay. So this is department head? Yep, that's okay, the department, department request. Right. And the last column is the advisory uh, recommendations. Anything that's in the dark is a budget sheet I did not get back from the advisory board. Okay. And Steve has this now? I'm the, sorry. Does Steve or the advisory committee have this communication? He will now. Oh, yeah, okay. I just Great. finished it. Through. Perfect. Thank you. So, do we want to maybe go over this again on Monday, or what do we want to do? Well, I just want to tell you that I know that um, when I talk to Steve Gillis, he plans to have this printed, I think, before Monday. I think it's going to be Friday, so I don't know how you're going to do it. I mean, he can still, I don't know if he has figures, I guess he can print it, but. Yeah, but we don't want to print it, though, with wrong figures in it. I can't get any of the other department heads to give me a call back. Well, we only asked an hour ago. I know. So, uh, Mr. Snyder, what do you do? We do you want to? Go? I think we. St I think continue we continue going. Continue, oh, continue okay. going, yeah. and then we'll go back. And we're going to go look at which what Carrie's what missing. Carrie has. Okay. We're down to. Uh, now we're down to. He doesn't, they don't even have anything in here for, oh, they do have the clerk's wages, all right. Okay, now we're down to the fire department. Fire wages, $46,340. Fire chief salary, $3,545.52. Uh, fire expenses, $34,000. Fire recurring recertification testing, $11,500. Fire asset repair replacement is fifteen thousand, and then he's got fire utilities. They said that was no nope, eight thousand nine hundred dollars with a 
note line 77? Yep, that's because we broke out the municipal utilities this year so that the town hall is not going to be paying for all the departments. Okay. Um, so that's their portion of their utilities that the select board normally would be covering. Oh, all right, thank you. And if you look at the spreadsheet I gave you also, you'll see that the fire department's numbers were different. Okay. Okay, we'll look at that after. We're going to go over these right now. But you said all the numbers were different. Um, telephone contracts and leases, $6,509.97. And I mentioned another thing too, Carrie. Don't we usually round off these figures? Because we usually don't have cents. And that's something that they did. That causes a problem thing in the budget. Building inspector is $16,438.32. Building inspector assistant wages, $543.66. And building expe inspector's expenses, $100. Total building inspector is $17,081.98. Okay. Plumbing and gas inspector, $4,069.80. And the gas and plumbing inspector assistant wages are $346.80. Gas and plumbing inspector expenses, $550 for a total of $4,966.60. Wire and expect a salary, $4,041.24. Wire and expector assistant wages is $357. And the wire and expected expenses is $400 for a total of $4,798.24. Zoning enforcement officer is $7,211.40. Zoning enforcement office's expense is $380 for a total of $7,591.40. Now we go down to the emergency management agency. Uh, it's BEMA, it's $3,500. Emergency managed agency salary, $430. And both of those have questions on it. And then Blackboard Connection is $3,700 for a total of $7,630. Animal Control Officer, $5,928.24. Animal Control Officer Assistant Wages is $666.06. Animal Control Expense is $2,000 for a total of $8,594.30. Parking, tic parking ticket clerk and hearing officer stipend, $250. Parking ticket expense, $100. Total parking is $350. Tree warden expenses is $16,040. Shade tree expenses is $2,500. Total public safety is $682,501.93. Now the school salary, they don't have anything now. Oh, but they've got the total. Hmm? They've got the total. Yep. So they're it's they're on my spreadsheet. It's on you? Okay, all right. Uh, school committee salary, $1,500. Regional school Committee salary, a thousand. Regional school assessment is one million six hundred and sixty thousand six hundred and nine dollars. Transportation is seventy-seven thousand nine hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Total expenses is three million sixty-seven thousand and two hundred and thirty-three dollars, and a total of four million. $754,310. Now we're doing public works. Highway superintendent wages is $55,455.36. 
Highway Operator Wages is $81,979.44. Highway OT slash PT other wages is $5,352.96. Highway Wages Administrative Assistant is $18,000. $842.26. Highway Police Detail and Flaggers is $3,570. Seasonal Highway Worker is $14,851.20. And let's see our next one here. Is Highway Expenses $60,600. Highway certifications, $930. Highway plow private roads, a dollar. That probably shouldn't be there. Because no, because we have that in an article. Yep. That should probably come out. Okay. So the total would be would be wrong. But then they said something about, oh, yeah, the same thing, the 8,000 note line 77. Right. So the total for that would be 2,000. $51,182.42. Ice and snow account is $75,000. Would you like to read the last couple of I can do that if you'd like to take yeah, a break. That would be nice. <clears throat> so cemetery wages, $17,723.52. Cemetery superintendent salary, $5,183.64. Cemetery expenses, 6000 Cemetery improvements, 1500 for a total of 30407 Total public works is $369,089.58. So we now move into health sanitation. Board of Health salary, 3600 Board of Health clerk wages, $5,682.42. Board of Health Agent, $685.44. Board of Health and Animal Inspector Salary, $1,131.18. Board of Health Title V Administration, $522.24. Board of Health Expenses, $4,000. For a total of $15,621.28. Transfer station wages, $25,062.42. Station, uh, transfer station wall tests, $12,789. Transfer station expenses, $92,770 for a total of $130,621.42. Community health program, $950. Council on aging outreach worker, $1,530. Council of Aging, Tri-Valley Crisis Intervention, $799. Council on Aging, Medicare, Medicare is $2,000. Council on Aging Expenses, $1,400. For a total of $5,729. Director of Veteran Services Salary, $1,030. Veterans uh, Agent Salary, $3,605. Veterans Agent Expenses, $240. Veterans Agent Case Load is $55,000 for a total of $59,875. Total Health, Sanitation, and Special Services of a total of $212,796.70. Cultural and Recreation. Library Director Wages, $40,675. Library Custodian Wages, $7,167. Library Assistant Wages, $31,354. Library Saturday Holiday and Vacation, $3,669. Library Expenses, $13,200. Library Books, Videos, Periodicals, $26,500 for a total of $122,565. Recreation Commission Expenses, 8100 South Palm Beach Expense, $1,250 for a total of $9,350. Historical Commission, $1,155. Memorial Day, $3,286.
Cultural Council expenses total $8,866. Total Cultural Council and, and Total Cultural and Recreation $145,222. Debt and interest. Fire truck principal is paid off. So that'll do that. Fire truck interest paid off. Uh, police station, 115,000. Uh, 115, police station interest is 40,000. Those. Yep, and so what we should do is just put boxes around these because we have a warrant on it. Thank you, Kara. Uh, I'll, I'll just finish reading that so that it's clear that these, these numbers will be reflected in other warrant articles and other approaches. Um, so I'm all, Principal is seven thousand five hundred fifty-nine dollars and thirty-one cents. Sawmill pond interest is two thousand nine hundred ninety dollars and forty-five cents. So again, these will be reviewed in other warrant articles. Uh, okay, assessments and other mandated expenses. Worcester County retirement two hundred seventy-five thousand two hundred sixty-three dollars. Unemployment insurance for two thousand. Group health and life insurance is $525,000. Medicare town share is $54,166. General insurance is $145,000. Total assessments and other mandated expenses $1,013,429. Now we move to the water department, line 900. Uh, Water Department Commissioner's Salary, $1,800. Water Department Clerk Wages, $11,411.76. Uh, ,411 Water Department Superintendent Salary, $58,140. Water Department Secondary Operator Wages, $5,333.58. Water Department Temporary Help, $2,626.50. Water Department Expenses, $31,700 for a total of $111,011.84. Operating Budget, uh, again, that all puts and takes in, in this, but at the current uh, additive value of $8,103,620. And then we have emergency squad, again, below the budget because it's self-funded, is uh, line 200 emergency squad rate wages of $182,893, emergency squad expenses of $42,000 for a total, of, um, total emergency squad is $224,893. How did they do? Good. So what we probably ought to do is go compare sheet to sheet. Carrie, do you want to come up with us when we do this? Sure. You don't mind? You know, we can compare sheet to sheet here. So, well, if I look at this thing, Linda, mm -hmm. if I get down to, ooh, we don't even have the same lines. Now I'm nervous. I have put identically on my spreadsheet, the last column matches theirs, their spreadsheet. So if you just want to look at the one. Just block by block? Yeah. Okay, so now, what do, okay. okay, which document will we, will we be discussing Tuesday and then on Friday? Well, uh, the one that I have provided you. All right. So okay. you you have their recommendation to their to the right. Yes. Okay. Their 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 recommendations are the very last column. Okay. okay. So if we block by block, just if we can see what where, where the disparities might be. On my budget sheet, I'm missing the cable advisory spreadsheet, so I don't have that figure. That's okay. why that's off. All right. So that's why that's off, and you're asking for that. So Correct. But, from one one to the other, we're basically within a thousand dollars. Yes. So it's it's really not significant to worry right. about it. Yeah, the uh, first real discrepancy doesn't happen until. Well, let me just go over this character because you yep, weren't sure. here necessarily. 
So what we have is town accountant um, salaries and stuff. We are going to wait on the Collins information to make decisions. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then the next set of blocks was the treasurer's salary right. and the like. The treasurer clerk is really what we believe to be um, an assistant. Yes, because so, so there's, there's two different figures on here. There's two figures and we don't, one or both. Uh, one is the treasurer's salary, that's the 33141.84. Yep, so that checks. That's yep. not a problem. The assistant should be 186708. Hang on a second. Okay, yeah, it's on this Okay. Yes. Eight. So it's treasurer assistant is the eighteen, and treasurer payroll services is fifty-five. Is okay. I gotta get to this. And then they've got in here assistant. Then they've got an extra one in here, Carrie. It said treasurer's clerk wages. That would be the assistant, the 18. Um, I think if you look at it, it's probably crossed off. Is it for the 6,000? Yeah, what's the 6,000? Yeah, they, they would like a consultant, consultant to be on call for the year. Would that mean they'd like Keith to stay on even after we hire a treasurer? Um, that is not my... That's I have no idea. What, that's probably what, what that What is. they're talking about. So that's a, that's a good suggestion. Okay. All right, so then, okay, so the, the, the difference is just that then. Okay. So we took care of that. And then we have the question that they had last year's wages for the, uh, what was it, the tax collector? No, what was it? Yes. Yeah, in the last year's wages, they had for the uh, collector's salary, they had it 35700 and then you have a 35167 uh, What line are you looking at? Because my collector's Six, sal salary Six. says 42000 Right. Collect line, you have it as line 37, they have it as... Um, Collector. 37. Now, the one you're looking at just as the same as the first line. I've got the one from Carrie. Uh, is this the right one? Line 400? Yes. It should say 42,708. Yeah, mine, mine says uh, yeah, 37. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. That's so what we are. There is a difference, and we have that as a question. That's a question, too. They had a difference on that one. On the collector. They do? Wait a minute, you must be looking at the different sheets because mine says 42 too. Yeah, okay. the oh. one I just printed and gave you has line 400 collector salary as 4270842. Right, but oh. what, so what you have is you have a line on theirs that talks about collector assistant, and what's happened is that they added those two together to come up to the 42708. So that's where that's coming from. Oh. Okay. So, uh, otherwise we're in, in agreement. Okay. So we check there. Elections, we check there. Yeah. Elections, we check what we do. All right. Total planning. Total planning. Where's planning? Planning's there. We check. So conserve. So okay. There's conservation commission. So that's we check there. Uh, Board of Appeals. I have no information from that department. You have no. But, but the totals. Okay, so we're, we're missing some information from Correct. the department. Mm -hmm. What page is the Board of Appeals here on this? It's 59 or 6, uh, 630. 59, okay. All right. Okay, and here we are. And okay. Carrie doesn't have what was requested. My guess is that what was requested is what they got because it's right. within $20 of last year. 
Yeah. So, but I'm not going to worry about that one within $20. No. All right, so now we have, I'm going to go to general government. Do you total that general government? So we're, again, on general government, we're $1,000 different. So let's find the 1,000. So 10, 10 is correct. That's that, that's that. So that's, we agree on that. Print that, we agree on that. 50, the Mr. Pete, we agree on that. The 20,000, we agree on that. We agree on that. Hmm. So we have a difference. Uh, it's because we're missing the Board of Appeals budget. Board of Appeals. That's the $1,000 oh, difference. Oh, okay, thank you. It goes <laughs> up to that line. Okay, so that's the difference. Okay, so we're missing there. We're missing that. Okay. All right, so that's not, not, not great, but not bad. No. Okay, now you've got police department, so... I don't have anything okay, from there. Okay, but you're, you've reached out to Mike yes. for what his line is. All right. Yep. So that big hole is what we have for police. Okay. Okay. And then, okay, now we have a difference on fire department. Mm-hmm. And what is that? It's all in the wages. The fire department requested 56000 for wages, okay. and the advisory board uh, advised to level fund. Um, okay. So but we did go into deficit at that figure, so I don't, why, I don't know why we would level fund it. Okay, so we have an outstanding question, mm -hmm. and um, and then they had the the utilities. You don't have the utilities listed in it where where they do. Yes, I do. Yeah, it's it's, if, uh, it's the last line under yeah. nine thirty. It's here. And again, that's just being broken out from the select boards. Yep. Uh, so, so, oh, okay. so that it's really, we ran into deficit, we really should talk about it. Yes. So, and again, it's not that it's that much money, so that's a good thing. Okay, so now buildings. I don't have his budget sheet, so i okay, But you've asked. Yeah, they're, they're level funded, so I'm sure it's going to be fine. Yep, so... So that should work. The four thousand should work. Yeah. The gas plumbing stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, wiring is the same. Uh, their expenses on that are not the same. On the wiring. Um, we, I oh, saw. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Get blocked. So we've got a question. We've got a question. I'm that. sorry. In the gas and plumbing. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, remember, he, remember what happened is he had some. I guess he said last year he didn't have an expense budget or something, so he had to make he wanted to make sure it was asked for this year, but I see But then they reduced it, down. so I don't he understand that. that. Yeah, he needs that. So we, we want to have in the, the final sheet department recommendations to make sure that what they asked for is what is on the yeah. on the sheet to be discussed. Right. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Right. So zoning we were fine on. So going to emergency management. Emergency management. What they ask for is what they're getting. Animal control, what they're asking is what they're getting. Parking ticket asked and received. Tree warden, tree warden is yes. Shade is yes. So we're into schools. So what they're asking is what we're saying. We're delivering. And then we. Um, and we're missing the school salaries. <coughs> it, that's included in the school expenses. Oh, it is. Okay. Yes. All right. So that's over here. So then that, that's not an issue today. Well, the school expenses, the salaries are included in that. Okay, cool. All right, so now we're into public works. And I'm going to rush to the bottom to see if our, our numbers our numbers match. 
right? Yes, they do. And the only exception in the matching is we have a warrant article for the private roads for the dollar. So it's either, either I'll take this, it out. Yep. Yeah. This dollar comes out. All right. Thanks, Carrie. All right. So cemetery. Ooh, cemetery. Oh, uh, I miss I miss snow ice. Snow and ice is there. So street lights, where are street lights? Right below snow and ice. Oh I see it. It's up at the top of the next page on this document. Okay, cool. All right, so then we that now come to cemetery wages and other and it's thirty thousand four oh seven sixteen, so we agree. And now I'm going to bump to Board of Health. Board of Health. And uh, the first line of Board of Health is the salary, and Board of Health requested to level fund at 3672. Advisory Board lowered them to 3600. So that's another question. Yep. So we have that would be the difference there. Okay. That's the same, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same. Community health program is down there. So the only thing it is the issue of the seventy-two dollars on thirty-six hundred. On that section, on that yes. Section. Cool. Okay. okay, transfer station. Transfer station. That's the same. That's the same. I'm assuming Council on Aging is going to be uh, level funded, but I don't have a sheet from them. Okay. And they'll say you don't have them. I'm making a list on the call then. We may just make sure that they want to do it. In the veteran services, mm -hmm. they did the same thing with his uh, salaries. His prior year was one thousand fifty dollars sixty cents, and they want to fund him at one thousand thirty dollars. And again, with the uh, agent, he was funded last year at thirty six seventy seven ten, and they're recommending thirty six oh five. So both of those would be questions for them. Yes. Why would we lower them? So the 240 and 55 are the same. So we've got questions for Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay, library. How are we doing with library? We match all there. We match? Great. Okay. That's good. <clears throat> Recreation matches as well. Historical. The debt and interest, is that yes, where we're at now? Exactly. If you look at my spreadsheet, I went to Keek this morning because the budget that they approved back in March Mm -hmm. clearly stated that these numbers were not actual and they would need to check again in May. So I did that and the numbers are as I have listed in the, in the requested column. Because even though there is an article to reduce that debt with the um, refund from the school, mm -hmm. we still have to assess the 205 payment. That's what's due. Okay. So it's both voting here and the one article. No, this is the true debt that we have to budget for. Got it. Yep. So now we're going to vote this. Yep. And now our action on the warrant article will be to reduce it to reduce. when that refund comes in. When that okay, so oh. that we have, we need two affirmative votes. Yes. And this would be reduced. Yes. Okay. okay. Thanks, Kurt. So. 
Because in the same instance, if the second vote does not pass, we still have to fund this our, yep. this payment. We have to pay, it and this would be the the vote. Yep. Cool. Okay. All right. So that regional retirement. Yeah, those are all those all add up. Those all add up. Good. And that all adds up. Okay. Yep. So we have one set of blocks there. I'm going to go straight to the top one so we can agree on okay. what we're, and if uh, Karen can help us in communicating. Yeah. So what we have is the town accountant salaries that uh, we have a strategy of using, level funded, um, but a discussion later in the fall. Because we're waiting for the Collins Center. They're supposed right. to be coming in with their figures. Right. And so then the next one is the Assistant Treasurer Wages. Uh, the idea of the consultant. Mm -hmm. Not that we would disagree with it, but we ought to yeah, make sure that we here. highlight it. Mm -hmm. And then the next one I have is the to uh, uh, Board of Appeals. You're looking for feedback from what they requested. Correct. Versus whatever. Um, we didn't. We, I had, had, we needed. To, I had Circle Fire Department, but we don't have any questions there. Is that right? We do have. Um, the wages. The wages. The wages. Okay. That's the only thing there. Mm -hmm. And then the. Um, yeah, then Carrie's going to not only police. You're going to get feedback from Mike as far as what he actually requested on police and um, that's the same question for Peter as well, right? Yes. Well, no, I have Peter what he asked for. Okay, so it's just having the two numbers beside one another. Right. And that that would be a difference from what the advisory requested versus mm -hmm. what department. Yes. I have on Council on Aging Building Inspector Wiring and Inspector in ZBA. I'm going to call you. I think it's for, okay? Anything okay. else? A cable advisory? Say it again. Cable advisory? Yes. Oh, that, that's the point. That cable advisory. Okay. But we, what, what, we were going to keep the money in and we'd probably get it going. Well, then you'd have to, then wouldn't show up and find it. Because no one really asks us to all members, but. Well, we can leave the 22 yeah. hundred. We'll, we'll leave it in there. We'll discuss that when we first started. We'll probably yeah. 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 get that going again. Yeah. So we've got a few things to, to work on. Yeah. And you need some documentation from other people outside of town. Mm -hmm. And once they provide us information, then that should put us in a fairly decent position. Now, when did he want to print things? I think he said tomorrow. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think that's what he I, he hasn't said anything to me. I did leave another message for him waiting for him to call me back. I'll double check the call. Because, I mean, if we've got discrepancies. But, but how we can handle it yeah. is that Carrie's printing what the department's requested, mm -hmm. and then there will be a, a column that will be what advisory recommends. And what we have is a half dozen or yeah, so lines that would be in question, so we can debate those at another time. But we'll see the clear difference yeah. between the, the two. The debate will on the town hall floor if you right. want to. Yeah, and they're really, I mean, we're not talking a lot of money. No. So it's, it's probably an easy discussion. You know, I'm not talking about the worst case scenario, we'll have to go to Staples and print them. You know, I, I, I do want to mention with, with my budget, however, that when I met with them, it was March, and the call-in center was supposed to be done before budgeting. Well, um, well. And they did send documentation as to what uh, their study provided as far as the town accountant wages. Well, so well, the personnel, the personnel board when we met, uh, we decided, and I think who came in with us? It wasn't that Lee Flair came in, and yes. yeah, Lee didn't know really all that much about it. Steve sent him in, and we had said we were going to wait until the Collins Center was supposed to be in by sometime this month. That was before they had all the weather delays. Right. Yeah. They had all those weather delays where they had to hold off interviews. Yeah. So, personnel board, we had thought we, we could wait, you know, until the figures come in and then we'll fix the figure in the fall. Okay. That's what we thought we'd do. All right. So, is that what we wanted to do for that line item today? For this one, on, do you mean the town accountant wages? 
No, I, oh. as far as that. Oh, okay, yeah. As far as the FY19 yes. budget review that we had on the agenda, is that mm -hmm. what we wanted to accomplish? Yes, that's what we wanted to accomplish. So thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. Now, did we want to meet again on Tuesday to do anything? If they did. Well, I mean, Tuesday, you know, I mean, Saturday, Tuesday, then another one. But, you know, let me know what time I need something. I'll just put budget review again on yeah. Tuesday if you want to yeah. go. And, it, and, and what it would be is just limited to those five or six lines yeah. that we and have. And had we hope that there's some changes on them. And the car now Carrie is going to fix those changes, or we have to have the advisory board in here. So what I what I'm hopeful mm -hmm. is, and sorry, we just lost Carrie, mm -hmm. is that we're going to have one document, yeah. and on that document will be a line that talks about department requests mm -hmm. and advisory recommends, yeah. so that we can then just see those that we are in despair. Yeah. Okay. Even if he if he even can't get to do them and now. He goes to see, he sees Gary Fuller. Isn't he really He's good? He's going to go see Gary, and I think Gary's pretty quick. I don't know his timeline, but what I'm saying is, worst case scenario, they can go to Staples and, and print him out that day. I mean, I mean, you hate to have to do that, but what, I'm going to call him and see what his timeline is for Gary. Because okay. you mean now it has to be on Tuesday. Yeah, because tell him that okay. there's a few right. discrepancies here, and we've got to go over them. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're all set then on the budget. Okay, now our next one to go on is to review treasure applications. You can share my list if you like. I think Brent was leaving to have enough to take out an order with the other one. Oh. Okay, Brent, come on up. Oh, I'm going to call you. I just want to just ask if any of us possibly reconsider the sidewalk side of the recommendation. Well, one of the reasons we we thought we want to wait and see actually, you know, how the monies are going here in town, because we're not quite sure, you know, what what we're getting in like for free cash or anything. So we wanted I, to I wait for that. I completely understand that, and I, I don't have a problem with that that's the reason for the denial, but if it's for other reasons, then I'd like to know those other reasons. So, well, I, I, my take is, do we have agreement between highway conservation and, and yourself yeah. as far as where, the, where it would be, where it would? I was leaving that up to highway and conservation because they are right. obviously and, the and experts. So, are we in dispute as to where it could go? Oh, yeah, that, w that was another question. I remember that now. Um, well, we can go on either the east side or the west side of the street. But then wasn't there a question there, whether or not we go into the wetland? Okay, so that's my concern. And again, my, my basis of understanding is that for the last three or four years, I have done the Earth Day pickup with mm -hmm. my wife mm -hmm. between Quaybog Equipment and White's Landing. So given that, what we have is on what I consider the east side, the Nanatonqua side of the river. When you get to the antique dealer's um, home, that stretch, just as you're now leaving town and going towards the antique dealers, it basically falls off to the left or to the east, where it would be impractical on the east side to be able to put a sidewalk there. But, the 12 feet or so that we're talking about actually is in the, in the water. Right. So, so if, if I, from my knowledge of that stretch of road, the west side has certainly enough frontage to yeah. be able to support a sidewalk. And the question is, if we can support the sidewalk, then it comes to conservation to say, is anybody going to have a, a setback requirement of a sidewalk that would come to the roadway. No, so so from what we're, we're getting a nod from conservation that nobody's gonna impact us if we put want to put a sidewalk to the west side of the roadway. When I talked at AEP, too, which they already said they didn't have a problem with because Kirby and I had taken a map out and it was 12 feet to the water and he wants to make it up 12 feet. So they said they didn't have a problem. Okay, so what we have is we, we have no no dispute between highway conservation yeah. that the road that, that a sidewalk could be on the west side of, of the roadway. 
the difficulty with putting it on the west side of the roadway is you have to cross the roadway because the sidewalk is on the east side of the bridge. Yep. And that's a bad spot to have anybody crossing that roadway. So then I would then come back to conservation and ask the question, do you agree with me that the area just before the antique dealer is in fact in the water? Is that, I mean, that's that's the issue so that we're So if we put it on the west side, so until, say, right before White Slam, they put a crosswalk there, and then it's also not any accessible on the White Slanding portion of the sidewalk. So it's another issue that we should probably address. And, and crosswalks. I don't know why we put on crosswalks, because it's, it's a very dangerous Oh, it's, 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 we have had two fatalities. I just don't want to wait until we have another fatality and then we're going to do something. No, no, I think you're right. I, I'm in favor of doing it. I just didn't want to have somebody coming back from DEP or conservation yeah. or other that would come back. Well, so I just, since I put it out there, I've had more no's and for various reasons, and that was my problem. If we don't have the money to do it, I'm okay with that. Maybe yeah. next year. Yeah, that's what we, we've got to but see really where we are financially, you know. But that didn't look good. I mean, if we do get the cash certified and, and we do have money, that's what I'm asking for. Then it would be. We'll know more, I think, when we get when we get the free cash figures. And then, didn't uh, Karen had written to me? You had said something even about if we could get a grant. Oh, it's possible. Possibly even to get a grant to do it. Yeah, well, in well, fact, my breath, seeing as the state promised to put the sidewalk in to begin with, so yeah. Right, but but uh, along that line, yeah. on the open space thing, that's an open question. Yeah. As we now get to the next phase of the open space, is that there are grant monies available for mm -hmm. recreational purposes mm -hmm. that she wants to come and trying to encourage us to, to in fact apply for some of those grants. So there, there could be a possible, so maybe the best thing is if, if we're now waiting to have an understanding of uh, free cash and all the rest, we do wait for the fall and maybe what we do is have a meeting with the state folks that talked about those kinds of things and see what we could do to come up with some cash. Yeah, I've been waiting for 15 years though and it hasn't happened so I don't think that's gonna happen so I don't know. But just in the meantime. Yeah, just in the meantime. I'll do some noodling. We'll see. Good idea to talk to the abutters on the steel room because at least our need, the property line is the edge of the road. Who? And I don't know if the other needs are the same, but you would be talking about eminent domain then, or putting you know, the sidewalk on private property. So we get some research to do as well. Yeah, Anything would be better than putting a crosswalk in. Oh, in front of Rainbow Equipment. It would be better to cross them back further yeah. from the bridge because people coming over that bridge, you know, fast. Oh, yeah, that's da yeah, that's dangerous. Even if you're stopped out there to see something. But I watched on somebody with a baby carriage try to walk down that street the yeah. other day, and my heart was in my throat. Right. And. There's a lot of people that bike that stretch and it's, Oh yeah, it's, a lot of people that walk that. Area. No, it's a good idea, Brenda. There's no, no question about it. It's just how to, how to get it done. Yeah, I just want to wait well, for 15 years. For Kenny, could you go look at the con the area that I have of concern and yeah, see see yeah, what just, if, if... That's part of the problem is there was the guardrail and then there's there's not that much space of broken goes, pavement, and then you've got the line. So people walk on the other side with their back towards traffic, and that's a disaster waiting mm. to happen. Exactly. Distracted drivers. I see a guy doing it the other day with a cane, so it's just, it's not good. Yeah. Herb and I had talked about on the west side and used the grindings off the 148. That is what the the DEP was concerned about what are you going to use for dirt? No dirt. That's what they were all upset about. They don't want the dirt going back into the wetlands. Right. 
So you guys gave us the grinding, that's what we want yeah. to do, like four feet. And that will help also stabilize the right. road. That's what Herb said. Which 148 needs some work, that's for sure. Yes. Yeah, a lot of holes so we got a little homework then to do on it. But I think, yeah, let's keep moving towards the, the ultimate goal. Representative Donnie Burkham had said that for them to finish the 148 project from Molasses Hill Road to the New Bridge, we were talking about doing something. I said, well, if we can take care of it, we, we will just like to make a path. That's all Kirby and I were talking about, four-foot path would be pretty good with that stuff because if it's mm -hmm. able to dip in, you can always level it off with it. Grinding, you don't have to put any dirt there. Grinding's yeah, you're not awesome. putting anything in the river. No. Well, the river's 12 feet away, so yeah. if you do a four foot path. Again, oh. west side's easy, yeah. east side's the problem, and the best place to put it is on the east side from a safety perspective. That's the dilemma. On the east side, you think it's better yeah. it's the because of the side. Because of the side, you stay away from the whole idea of crosswalks. Well, Kenny, let's let's. The bridge, I don't think they have to cross. That's the most dangerous spot anyway. At least on the straightaway, you can see. Yeah. The is worse. Let's take a walk. Yeah. Grab Herbie. Let's let's go for a walk. My commitment to you, Brenda. Okay. I don't have any problem with yeah. it. Good. <laughs> And let's we'll, go walk it. We'll do it before now on Tuesday. Because we're going to this bring up. And then, then next year we have to work on play balls. <laughs> That'll be fine. <laughs> yes, we do. That was promised to me way back when Alan Martell was. Uh, okay. Let's start to get something done. Okay. All right, moving on. Okay, move it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why don't we move on to vacation? Oh, yeah. We have vacation carriers. Yep. We have, um, this is from Al Jones. He said, I have three vacation days remaining that I won't be able to use by June 30th. I would like to use all of these during the first week of July 18. Holly told me I can request to have the hours move to next year. How, how do I do this? Well, he's, he's already asked, so. Yeah, I motion to approve. Uh, I'll second the motion. All in favor, aye. aye. That's the only one there. Okay. Now we have here, we the have CBG, CBG yeah. invoices. Right, here. Motion to sign. Motion to sign. Uh, the total amount of those are $2,939.74. You have a second? I have a second. All Nine. in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to sign the second invoice, or do you? Um, it's all the same. Okay. It's just the copies. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Correspondence, and this is from the Commonwealth of uh, Mass, Mass Dot, and it's about when they would like to uh, Weber Road here, National. Stand.
Okay, it said a part of the Massachusetts Bridge Inspection Program, Mass Dot Highway Division now also performs inspections of municipality owned bridges whose spans are between 10 feet and 20. A copy of the recent bridge inspection fail report is enclosed. And it is a view of attachment and, and it says, report please not the deficiency highlighted for your immediate attention. And it says repair, rehabilitation, or construction of any bridges to address the deficiencies reported is the owner slash custodian responsibility. Chapter 90 monies may be used for these purposes. And so I guess they have. This sounds like done Brook all over again. Yeah, done yeah, all over again. <laughs> Weber, they're showing Weber Road. Okay. And they're showing here. I don't know if you can. Railings, bridge railings, approach guard. So let's refer that to the. Yeah. To the highway. highway and see what they say see because they say, yeah. all we need is another done brick. I know. Karen, maybe we should. Uncle, you're coming in. Maybe what we should do on this mat dot is refer this to the highway. Okay. Okay, because we don't want to have a job. We always do. I just wonder if I didn't hear from Beth regarding the resumes, but I did find this was at 10 of 2. Uh, Mr. Gillis emailed this to me, and this is going to have to be approved at that because that's where it has to be. But these are everything's all approved except for those. So okay. just we'll just have Carrie so have line, line to line, and we'll just, we'll just give these to Carrie. Yeah, I believe he emailed Carrie. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and, and we're talking what four items, five items now. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Now this is another one. Okay, what this is from uh, Commonwealth of Mass. Also, they're looking for a search for a lease space by the Department of Transitional Assistance. They want, to put an office somewhere. they want to put an office in. They've got here for towns Brookfield, Brookfield, Charlton, Dudley, East Brookfield, Holland, North Brookfield, Oxford, Southbridge, Spencer, Sturbridge, Wales, Warren, Webster, or West Brookfield. It's for client and service and administrative offices. And they need approximately 8,200 square feet of usable area. I don't think we have anything here that they can use. There's nothing. Nothing here that they can use. Um, Fortunately. So I think that was it. The two well, things. it was just the application. Oh, yeah, we have the applications, but I mean, that was all there. The vacation carryover? Yeah, yes. we did that one. We agreed and to do CDBG that. Invoices. Yes. Yeah. Oh, perfect. We did. Okay. Well, uh, I have, we have uh, treasurer, treasurer uh, resumes were due in by the fourth on Monday, and I have picked three people, and I also, I think Mr. Uh, Snyder has the same people that we'd like to get in. We haven't heard yet from Ms. Coughlin. Right, I but sent it to her at 11. Do we I want to announce know. three names? Or no? no, I think we should wait till Tuesday. We'll wait till okay. Tuesday, but, but we have three people. But uh, I think the important thing is that we had a thir total of 13 resumes, yes. yeah. and yeah. My, my study of those 13 resumes mm -hmm. I used as a uh, just a very quick uh, cursory mm -hmm. to figure out who, who uh, might rack and stack of you know, municipal experience, yeah. tax experience, yeah. and business experience. Mm -hmm. And what I found were, were uh, 10 of the 13 may have had uh, other state yes. uh, background, but mm -hmm. not, Massachusetts, not Massachusetts, which is yeah. problematic. And uh, the largest number had business experience, but no municipal yeah. experience, and that would be problematic as well. So yeah, because we no, did. Yeah, we had a lot from out of out of state that had put yeah, in resumes. Yeah, which is amazing. Yeah. I mean, amazed that we got 13. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, I think we ought to wait till uh, Tuesday, Tuesday to, to double to double check and to, see who yep. Beth has, and then after town meeting, we'll start setting up appointments for that. All right, so. That's it. Unless you have anything else to bring up, public access. Is there a list of the bridges that they want, or did we uh, report that they inspected, or they want to inspect? It was Weber Road. They Weber Road the bridge. Just uh, yeah, the Weber Road they want. They said the red handrails. Oh, we oh we have to do we forgot we have to do these. Oh, it's going to say under other. This is what I have to under other. Peter's request first of all. Peter had a request that you. Um, um, 
we think your recommendation regarding the, that machine to launder the, the clothing, you saw the email, correct? Mm. I think you saw it. I didn't realize it was the laundry. Okay. Yeah, it was, well, he sent another one regarding yeah. saying that, that big, the large figure for the vehicles was just to let people know that that's what's needed, it's not necessarily expense, yeah. which that will be talked about on time, I'm sure, but also regarding that laundry, um, I, I sent it over to you guys too, and maybe you can get it yet. Maybe you can get it, yeah. Why didn't you want to take it up on Tuesday? Because what it is, is there a study showing that that debris is really hazardous to, to yeah. their health, mm. firefighters' health. Yeah. Put that on Tuesdays? Okay. For sure. Yes. And then he died. If it's health and safety, we have yeah. to deal with it. We have to deal with that. And then, uh, I must have seen the one that he had on there for he had these uh, CIPC had changed their mind and they were going to give him some money for the, uh, he thought, for one of the trucks. And I talked to Kermit this morning and he said that is expected for FY20. That's when it's probably think about it. Yeah. Well, and again, I think that to Peter's point is to have the award article there so we discuss it as a good thing. Yeah. And given our state of financial concerns or making sure we have all the yeah. information that we have, mm -hmm. we're really, uh, I'd be reluctant to make any decision until we yeah. have all our information. Uh, yeah, we need all but, of our but information. But again, Peter's concern is a valid concern. Yes. Okay. We've, we got here, we have to go over for town meeting, for the, the special town meeting. On Friday, June 15th, the recommendations. Okay. By the way, the advisory board hasn't haven't done this yet. And we thought it was going to be done on the floor because remember that joint meeting they mm -hmm. had to cancel. But Mike said it's important that the recommendations are in the warrant book. So if you do it today and then tonight okay. the advisory board will do theirs, it'll get in the warrant book right. time. Okay. Article one is to see if the town will vote to transfer borrow some of money from the general fund to the highway expense or take any action. This one seems as a reimbursement. I think yeah. we should uh, very um, be yeah. pleased to receive yeah. it. So that's I would sponsor this. Yeah, we'll support that one. And now, second one, Article 2 is to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow some of money for the fire department wages account. He did not have a figure for me, that's why there's he didn't, no figure in there. So he doesn't have a, we'll, we'll just, I'm, I'm, we'll approve of it and we'll just. I'm, I'm saying we should yeah. support it. Oh yes, we will support it. We'll just have to sit down with Carrie and find out, you know, where the money will come from to right. get the figure and where it's going to come out of. And the third is to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow some of money for the library building maintenance account. And, uh, what to, borrow some of money. Oh, so they already have it already. They just want to take the money out of their maintenance account. Yeah. So we should approve that we as well. Approve that one also. Okay, and four to see if there's sum of money to the Board of Health expense. This is a prior year prior expense. Bill. Yeah, so we'll have to see. Support. We support that, and that's a nine tenths vote. So we'll have to see where we can get that one, yeah. and also to see. Five is to uh, see if the town will transfer some of money from available funds to the cemetery expense to pay a prior year's bill. We have to do that one and support that also. Right. And uh, Article 6 is to see if the town will transfer some of money from available funds to the transfer station account to pay a prior year's bill. And that's, that's for $47.83. That was for National Grid, so we have to support that one also. Yeah. And then Seven is to see if the town will transfer a sum of money from available funds to the snow and ice account to cover the deficit. Yeah, we, have to. we have to do that also, and yep. we'll probably have to get that figure from Karen. Right. And we'll just see where the money's going to come so from. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're, we're approving. Them all. Okay. Yeah, we're supporting all of these. Yep. All of them, all of them. So. That's it. So I would like to have a up. Oh, Ken's still with us. Okay, Ken. I'm sorry. I'm going to show you a picture. This is a company, a separate company. To, this is Rogers Field. Oh. Okay. And they want to re replace them. And uh, 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 these poles, when they have this wire, it's like this thick. Yep. It's like forty-five thousand volts. Okay. So everything seemed to be okay because they were a little concerned about a few wetland pieces and I said to them not to worry about it, but the lady's supposed to come in so we can walk through the night. There's going to be a lot of activity there. Okay. Just wanted to let you know what's going on. Good. Okay, good. All right. 
Okay. Very professional. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, we don't have anyone here, so I would like a motion to adjourn at 2.25. You have that motion? I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye.